that, so I'm about to go through and start troubleshooting this uh, heater. W100-01 fireplace insert. Which fireplace EF1923, 1400 watt. All right, so you can see the blower motor's not spinning. Our temperature is flashing. So we're gonna go through and figure out what's going on with this blower motor. See if we can get it fixed. That's gotta be a discharge thing, that's the, that's what it's at the temperature of the heat is blowing out. So I don't think that's the problem. The problem is the heat is just not kicking the top easier. All right, so here's everything that runs our blower. This is our control board. This is our blower motor, this little motor right here. You see baseline through our wires is about half on. Alright. So our switch is closed. So we're getting continuity here. Some kind of incense or some trap. What is that? Should be open. Twenty three ohms. Try to switch this blower on. Look. That's run. I think the problem was the little purple stick. Right, you can see we got 117 on the rim. One seventeen on the black. This is the intake thermistor because this is the air sucking in. The discharge thermistor has got to be in the front. But just a breakdown of the parts. You can see this is our heating element. This is our blower motor. And it seems like our problem today. I don't even know where it went. The little purple stick. Oh, as I'm looking, I can see another piece of it. But this is just a breakdown of the parts you can see. This is the control board. So all your power runs straight to this board. This board controls all of this. Then here's your blower motor, and then here's your heating element. So really, the first thing I would check, if it won't work, is just make sure nothing's blocking the blower. I didn't expect it to be that easy. Okay, and just so you can see how the lights work. We just got a small motor that spins this wire, or this rod. And this rod has like some kind of shiny aluminum foil with like fan fins that just spin. You can see the LED board in the bottom just lights up. And as, it, as the fin spin, it creates the flame flickering. And you can control the brightness of the LEDs from the front. So that's just for looks, aesthetics. 
the actual functioning part of the heater is in the top here. And then this sensor right here, this is your IR sensor. So this is how you're able to control the unit with your remote. And here goes the part number for the control board if you need it. This is the only sticker on it, so I'm guessing this is the board number. It's a wiring diagram if you need it. It shows you how everything ties together. See if we can't get this whole unit out right here. Just to see if it comes out easy. Sense or something got stuck in it, so the fan couldn't blow. This blower has only two screws on each side, right here, and the heater will come off. Right, and that's how to get to your heating elements. Put this back together. And put the whole unit back. We're just going to replace these four screws. The purpose of this is to catch the temperature of the air going into the unit. You can never have enough zip ties. Make sure that our cord doesn't get caught up in the fan in any way. Test it out now and see what we got. Alright, so we got fire, we got flames in it. Let's check our heat. Celsius. Now we're getting heat. See the blow motor spinning. We didn't have to buy anything. 